once you get free, the way this passage is talking about, what's going to happen, okay? Well, the first thing is you're going to have an others first orientation, okay? An others first orientation. Look in verse 13 of Galatians chapter 5. Galatians 5, 13. You were called to freedom. There's that word again, brothers. Only do not use your freedom as an opportunity for the flesh, but through love serve one another. The whole law is fulfilled in one word. You shall love your neighbor as yourself. Here's what happens when you really get free. You really want others to be free. You, you really know that you're making progress when you're not, now this sounds counterintuitive, so stay with me, when you're not so concerned with your own life, your own growth, and your own progress. People think it's mature to be really focused on improving themselves. Actually, if they're hyper-focused on improving themselves, they are actually not mature. The Bible says when you're really mature, you want others to win. Now, that doesn't mean that you, you're not growing. It means that you're, you're serving others, you're loving others. There is an other orientation that you have. This is how you know you're starting to tap into this freedom. Second thing is that you will be mindful of God as you live your life. Now, I take that from verse 16, which says, walk by the Spirit. The word walk there, some of your translations might say, live your life. Okay, and actually down at the end of the, of the chapter, it actually says that. The idea in the first century where the word walk um, had to do, it, it didn't say run, it says walk. And here's why. It was, it, it was an, attent, an attentiveness about your steps. Okay, go back to the first century. They didn't have Nikes, they had sandals. And they didn't, a lot of them didn't even have sandals, they would walk barefoot. And where were they? The desert. So when you went to walk, you had to watch out for certain prickly things and certain poisonous things. There, there, was a, there was a mindfulness about your steps. That's what he's talking about here, that, that you're approaching your life with God in a mindful, attentive, in, in a mindful and attentive manner, just like Jesus, who lived his life with a thought to God. So it, he was never out of control. He was never, you know, like the victim of his circumstance or the victim of crazy people. He was in control because he was paying attention to God. When you're experiencing this freedom, you're not frantic, you, you're settled, and you're mindful. Wouldn't that be nice? 